Most people typically focus on tax planning when they prepare their tax return in March or April. By that point, it's actually too late. So tax planning really should be a year-round process. You want to make sure that you are paying the least amount of tax throughout the entire year. Don't just wait till it's time to file your return. The returns are retro. In other words, it's focused on what happened in the past. What we want to do is try to make sure you're paying less tax in the future. Each year we talk about tax loss selling. If you have a loss on some of the investments in your portfolio, you might want to crystallize that loss to be able to use that capital loss against any other capital gains you had this year or in the previous three calendar years. What's new for 2024 with the increase in the capital gains inclusion rate is an opportunity for some investors to also do capital gains realization. And the reason for that is that the first $250,000 a year capital gains are still taxable at the 50% inclusion rate. Any gains above that are taxable at a two-thirds inclusion rate. So for some individuals, it may make sense to crystallize those gains before the end of the year to take advantage of the lower capital gains inclusion rate if potentially you otherwise would have sold them in a future year when your gains were over 250,000, you'd have the higher inclusion rate. Then we need to make sure that we cover all of our registered plans. We've so got children or grandchildren, topping up the registered education savings plan to get the government grants for 2024. If you have someone in the family with disability, topping up the registered disability savings plan to get the grants and potential bonds. For RSPs, we have a normal deadline 60 days after the year, but for those who turn 71, you've got to make your final RSP contribution by December 31st, and you've got to convert that RSP typically to a RIF by the end of the year. And for first-time home buyers, don't forget that you have till December 31st to contribute $8,000 for 2024 for a first home savings account. You get a tax deduction for the contributions up to $40,000 over five years. That's $8,000 per year for five years. And then if you buy a home within 15 years, the entire balance can be withdrawn completely tax-free. Finally, charitable contributions. Reminder that if you want to get your charitable tax receipt for 2024, you must make that donation by December 31st to be able to claim the donation tax credit on your 2024 tax return.